dear all in this video i will be discussing about uh, resistive transducers so in order to get the previous video please click the i button on the top of the particular video then you will be getting the entire playlist of sensors and transducer let us continue the discussion on resistive transducers first in the foremost let us understand what do you mean by a resistive transducer or you can call resistance transducer the transducer whose resistance varies because of the environmental effect such as temperature pressure etc and such type of transducers are known as resistive transducer or you can call resistance transducer okay temperature pressure etc are called non mechanical quantities then you will be getting the output in terms of resistance that is called electrical quantity so non electrical quantity that will be converted into electrical quantity okay so that is regarding resistive transducer or you can call resistance transducer the resistive transducer is used for measure uh, temperature pressure displacement vibration etc so such kind of mechanical quantities can be easily measured by using the principle of resistance let us understand the basic principle of resistive transducer a uh, change in value of resistance with change in the conductor can be used for the measurement of translational and rotary displacement translational motion is in the sense linear motion so you can able to measure both linear motion and uh, rotational motion circular motion uh, you can point out one of the example of resistance based transducer that is called a strain gauge so let us understand what is happening in case of strain gauge strain gauge is one of the example of resistance transducer which measure displacement force pressure etc and you can able to say that there are two types of resistive transducer first one is linear motion potentiometer and another one is rotary motion potentiometer in the upcoming slide we are going to discuss about the main classification of resistance transducer so before studying about resistive transducer you should understand the important formula we can say that this is the working principle of resistance transducer you know that resistance of the conductor or a material that is given by rho l divided by a where rho is known as specific resistance or you can call resistivity so it is expressed in terms of ohm meter and also length is the total l l stand for length of the conductor or a material okay it is expressed in terms of meter si unit then you can we'll talk about a that is regarding area of cross section of the material that is equal to uh, a a means in terms of meter square you will be expressing in terms of meter square so that we can say that the resistance will be directly depending on uh, l and also we can say that resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section so this is the relation these two parameters are directly influencing on the performance and the working principle of resistance transducer okay now let us explain what are the differences between a linear motion potentiometer and a rotary motion potentiometer so moving on to the discussion you can able to observe linear motion potentiometer and a rotary motion potentiometer so let us explain about linear motion potentiometer actually our intention is to measure non electrical quantities it may be displacement or distance or you can say velocity whatever it may be so the moving object that will be directly connected to a slider you can clearly observe this is your moving object that will be directly connected to slider here we are going to measure linear displacement or linear velocity whatever it can be now what you can do is you have to consider the resistive element this is your resistive element i am marking with the help of a pointer this is your resistive element you are going to provide the supply over here this is your supply okay l is the length of resistive material a is the area of cross section of that particular resistive material now what you can do is the slider that will be directly connected to the moving object so with respect to the linear motion of the slider okay whenever the motion linear motion is taking place the position of the slider is also getting changed with respect to changes in position of slider you will be getting the output voltage so it will act as a voltage divider okay so that anyway we are going to provide a constant input voltage at the resistive element and there is a slider that slider will be directly connected to mechanical uh, body okay it will be under continuous linear motion so we can able to measure it may be displacement or distance whatever it can be that is in terms of the output voltage okay so the variation in the resistance leads changes in the output voltage so this is exactly happening in case of linear motion potentiometer on the opposite side you can able to measure the 
circular motion in the sense it is mainly used for measuring rotary motion potentiometer circular motion can be measured so you can able to see the slider okay it is very clear that a slider it is arranged in a circular shape and you are going to provide okay not only slide not slider resistive element first of all i would like to tell about resistive element so where is the resistive element this is your resistive element you can able to observe the resistive element so resistive element is arranged in the circular fashion even slider is also arranged in a such a way that it can move in a circular fashion okay the slider will be provided a constant input voltage we are going to provide a suitable supply for the particular uh, resistive element okay resistive element is placed over that we are going to provide the constant input voltage say 24 volt or 48 volt whatever it can be yeah, now we can look at the position of the slider see slider is locating over there so this is your mid position of the slider okay uh, now you can observe that the moving object that will be directly connected to the slider okay slider will perform the circular motion so the moving object is directly connected to the slider whenever the moving object is performing the motion slider is also going to rotate so with respect to the rotation of slider you will be getting the output voltage so the thing is whenever slider is getting changed the input voltage the voltage which you applied that is also getting varied okay as the slider changes resistance is getting varied that resistance will be directly proportional to the change in voltage so you can able to measure the changes in a slider in terms of voltage that means as the moving body perform different motions it may be uh, rotational motion it will be rotational motion okay uh, as the moving body performs the circular motion you are able to get the output voltage with respect to the motion you are able to get the output voltage this can be measured over here okay because the resistance element the value of resistive element will be getting varied okay normally we are going to use wire bound to a resistor okay the scale will be uh, 0 to 60 degree normally 0 to 60 degree so let me talk about more details about these kind of transducer okay i'll be putting lot of information regarding these kind of transducer in the next slide you can go through the next slide see a linear motion potentiometer or rotary motion potentiometer converts motion of rotating shaft into changes in resistance whenever changes in resistance is occurred the output voltage is also getting varied that point also you have to remember in case of rotary uh, type uh, resistive transducer the rotary device varies from 0 to uh, 10 degree to 60 degree it may be from 0 itself in the in the form of 10 at the range of 10 0 10 20 30 likewise uh, and also the changes in the resistance in the potentiometer is then an indication of the amount of motion and the direction of movement that is very clear you have to underline this particular point that is indicated by whether the resistance is increasing or decreasing that also can be obtained from the resistive transducer what are the quantities can be measured you know pressure force acceleration then linear velocity angular velocity those parameter can be measured okay even you can able to measure the liquid level also what are the power ratings of the potentiometer it is available in the rating of 5 watts and the temperature it can be varied up to 21 degrees celsius and the diameter will be around 50 millimeter and uh, the value of resistance that is varied from a 10 ohm to 10 kilo ohm at the steps of 100 ohm it suppose it's available like 100 ohm 200 ohm like this it's available okay what are the materials i already explained what are the materials which can be used for making this kind of resistive transducer normally we are employing wire bound potentiometer even you can go for non-wire bound potentiometer also okay these are the basic peculiarities of a resistive transducer okay now let us list out a few advantages of resistive transducer or you can call resistance transducer so normally wide range of output you will be getting high output and it is cheap and available in different size and different shape also simple to operate okay and the principle also quite simple it obeys the equation mainly r is equal to rho l divided by a resistive transducer gives the fast response compared to other type of transducer high electrical efficiency and uh, rugged construction construction will be robust okay these are the main advantages if i uh, talk about the disadvantages uh, limited life due to wear and tear because for, for in case of linear type uh, resistive transducer uh, the slider will move up and down so with, with respect to the movement definitely there will be wear and tear that will be happening for the resistive element that
that is why we are going to say we are saying that uh, lifespan of the particular equipment is less and the output is too noisy we won't get the smooth output that is another uh, drawback of this type of resistive transducer okay however it is quite common what are the major errors encountered in this kind of transducer normally scale errors because that scale is non uniform so uh, moreover the accuracy accuracy is another issue then dynamic errors what do you mean by dynamic errors dynamic error is the difference uh, of the true value of the quantity changing with respect to time and the value indicated by the instrument if no static error is uh, assured okay so there is a reference value and actual value that difference is referred as dynamic error that is another issue regarding uh, the resistive uh, type transducer and the noise and drip errors so it is mainly occurring due to change in gradual variation of the output okay these drip errors are most common in case of resistance transducer that is why some cases we are not able to use this kind of resistive transducer where you require more accuracy okay such cases you can go for other type of transducer let us discuss what are the major applications of uh, resistance transducer majorly we are going to use potentiometer strain gauges resistance thermometer then uh, th uh, thermistors and also rtd okay resistance temperature detector these are the various applications of resistance transducer i have referred the following textbooks now let us conclude the session first of all i have discussed about what do you mean by resistance transducer normally the physical phenomenon such as temperature then variation pressure that will be converted in terms of resistance and you can able to measure the output voltage that is exactly happening in case of resistance transducer not electrical quantity such as displacement pressure etc will be measured in terms of resistance and uh, you have to follow the main equation r is equal to rho l by a okay so based on the equation it is going to operate there are two classification linear motion potentiometer and rotary motion potentiometer so i have explained the working how does it operate okay so first one is mainly used for the translational motion linear motion you can go for linear velocity linear displacement likewise if i want to go for circular motion go ahead with the rotary motion potentiometer so afterwards i have explained the different type of uh, transducer and i have given the specification details etc afterwards i have discussed about pros and cons of resistance transducer afterwards i could list out a few uh, errors which are occurring in case of resistance transducer and uh, finally i have listed out the applications of resistance transducer in the next session what i am going to discuss is the one of the major applications such as thermistor applications of resistive transducer such as thermistor and afterwards i will be discussing about rtd resistance temperature detector these are my plan of action in the upcoming session uh, if you have having any queries related to uh, this resistance transducer please do let me know you can put up your comments in your uh, comment box finally thank you very much for watching this video